Testing. One, two, three. Ah, uh, hi. It's so good to finally meet you. I'm Nigel, your park supervisor and head of zoological developments here at Prehistoric Kingdom. Since our last park manager moved to the Americas division, this place has fallen into a bit of a state. Unfinished plans, neglected habitats, all telltale signs of a much needed makeover. As I'm sure you know, our zoos are a little different, so it's perfectly normal to feel overwhelmed at first. After all, it's hard for most people to imagine what dinosaurs look like, let alone manage them. We're here to change that, and I reckon this will be second nature for you in no time. Right, first things first. I'm sure you're ready to meet our friend down there, so let's make sure you can look around. I'm sending some input controls to you now. Great stuff. Let's check some auxiliary functions. Try enabling your light. And that's why we don't like flash photography. Next, we'll get you on the move. I'd like you to look around the park for a bit and get comfortable with your surroundings. Feel free to mingle with the guests or enjoy some of the creatures on display. I'll check in with you soon. I hope you're ready to get your hands dirty. To start, you'll need to investigate a welfare issue in the paddock from earlier. Caring for the animals should be your number one priority here at Prehistoric Kingdom. If they're not happy, no one's happy. Select one of the animals in the habitat so we can take a look at them. Okay. So this is a Dryosaurus. This little fella is a small herbivore from the Jurassic, and it looks like their herd needs our help. When tackling a welfare issue like this one, you can expand headers inside the animal's info box to learn more about the problem. Try clicking on the sustenance and enrichment labels. As you can see, it looks like our previous park manager took the America's job and ran without much consideration for the animals he left behind. While I call up the board members, I'll need you to care for the little ones. You can start by getting their food situation sorted, some enrichment too. If you get lost, there's an objective prompt on the left side of the screen. Good luck.
great work getting the dryer saw paddock up and running again. The board and I really appreciate you stepping up to get this place back on track. When you're ready, I'd like you to head over to the old construction site. Next, we're going to get ready for a new attraction. I've already sorted the food and enrichment, but I'll need you to do the rest of the heavy lifting. Let's prepare the area by building a generator nearby. Next up, I'd like you to build an animal nursery in that area there. Nice job. Select the nursery and open the genetics lab from the pop-up menu. In case you haven't already realized, this is where the magic happens. Today, I'd like you to incubate a Torvosaurus. Quite a fearsome looking fella, isn't it? In here, you can find everything you'd need to know about managing an animal. Exhibit requirements, social needs, diet, you name it. You can even change how an animal looks, assuming you've discovered all the genetic material. Here, try changing its appearance. Did you notice the species name changing? Some animals, like the Torvosaurus, have a handful of species to pick from changing their needs, size, appearance, and even star rating. Once you're happy with your selection, press the Create button at the bottom. While we wait for our new dinosaur to incubate, we'd better go and prepare that new habitat. Secure fencing is of utmost importance, especially for a predator. Open the enclosures category and choose a fence type. You'll want to cover the entire perimeter. Now, with all that sorted, it looks like it's time to release the specimen. A beautiful animal indeed, but of course it's still going to need a proper environment, something to make it feel like home. Plenty of vegetation, a lake and a shelter should do nicely.
wonderful job. If that Torvosaurus could smile, I reckon it would. You can assess how well designed an exhibit is by clicking on the perimeter fencing. Go on, give it a try. The higher that exhibit scores, the more likely our visitors are to donate to the habitat. As you can see though, visibility isn't too great. There must be something we could build. Great thinking. With binoculars, guests are able to see significantly further into an exhibit. The more visibility coverage, the better. Speaking of visitors, we should make sure the viewing area has sufficient guest facilities. Superb! That will keep them both well fed and entertained. All that's left is to connect the paths and let guests find our latest attractions. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Take a look at that. The park's star rating has increased. Let's see how this kingdom is doing, shall we? I haven't seen guest satisfaction numbers that high in a long time. You're a natural. Let's try visiting the animals page. As I suspected, everyone in the park seems to be doing great. However, it does seem a little dinosaur heavy, no? I think it's time for one final attraction, the woolly mammoth. Head on over to excavations. We should have a dig site ready to go in Siberia. Great! Let's head back to the nursery and get started on those mammoths.
While they're incubating, we should prepare their new home. There's a paddock ready nearby, but it's filthy from housing a previous occupant. First, let's correct those feeders. Set up one to stock plants and the other to stock fruit. If animals aren't eating high quality food, low nutrition could lead to weak immune systems and excess animal waste. <sighs> Looking at the state of this paddock, it appears the previous park manager wasn't particularly mindful of that. Feces, scat, however you wish to refer to it, will always be something we need to manage. I know it's not exactly what you signed up for, but we need to get all that dung removed. And well, only one of us is out in the park, so... As the park grows, you'll find it harder to micromanage each habitat. For that, you'll need help from some teensy tiny employees, dung beetles. Their nests are essential in automating the disposal of feces, so let's put a few in now. just about does it. The paddock looks cool, pardon the pun, and everything appears to be in tip-top condition. Now, if you wouldn't mind doing the honours, I believe we're due for some arrivals. There they are, Mammuthus primigenius trumpeting in the snow for the first time in nearly 4,000 years. There's something distinctly beautiful about Ice Age megafauna. Their ability to thrive in the harshest conditions is something I believe we should all strive to admire. Today you've helped give something back, not just to our park, but to the world. Ah, oh, sounds like that will be for me. We're all done here for today, but I'm really glad to know the park will be in safe hands. From now on, it's all up to you. Talk soon.